Good afternoon, my name is Trailmaker, and this is the War Game Cup 2012. We're on day one of round five coverage, and today has been fairly exciting. First match, you should watch it, Bent Guru uh, versus Sorcha Boy, two fairly high-rated players. And this one is uh, a NATO player, just a random unknown guy. His name is Rape Man, and he's facing off against... One of the top players in the game. I, I think he's like third or fourth right now. His name is Sotek. Haven't been seeing a lot of Sotek because um, there haven't been a lot of matches available for him. A lot of people, a lot of top players especially, have been not posting their matches, feeling their tactics should be secretive and secure. And so for some rape man we see, he's got a standard command armor here. And a few Flock Panzers around, and he's getting quite a few Gazelles. A lot of Gazelles, actually. Looks like he probably is going to go for a Gazelle all-in. And he's going to use Command Armor. So Tech, on the other hand, has some Transport Helicopters. Looks like he's going to go for an Infantry Rush, and actually a lot of Infantry. What he doesn't have a lot of, of course, is Anti-Aircraft Vehicles. He has a few of these Praja here, which are Anti-Aircraft, and a Tunguska. The Tunguska, of course, pays for itself in spades. Will this be enough? That's hard to say, and really, if Sotek can defend off this helicopter rush, that's it. He does have two commands, and here we go. This is the exciting part. He has some anti-aircraft infantry in the transfer helicopters. Very interesting choice. Looks like he's using this infantry probably to cross this river and drop these infantry in the woods. This makes the territory... Uh, from a strategic point of view, makes this territory very, very hard and cost inefficient for the opponent. And Rape Man going for something that's become more standard. He's splitting his helicopters into two groups. And using this split, he's going to be able to hunt down both command armors. And he's going to take a lot less damage from anti air. It's a lot less riskier doing it this way. All the while, these command helicopters will go by. And we're going to go to the Sotek cam because it's really see. And boom, he actually sees it fairly early on. The, Transport helicopter, give him the vision. Does he see the other side? He does, in fact, see that other side. And so he's going to know it's coming. Will he prepare in time? That's something else. Uh, Command armor is getting pulled back as the helicopters are swarming in. And this is very scary. Lots of units here. There are some Prajas here. They have to start firing right away. Uh, they don't have much of a range, unfortunately. And, oh my god, gazelles are firing. Firing on the command armor. Will command armor go down? There's a lot of rockets, and boom, it's down. There's only one command armor left on the map. These helicopters have pretty well dealt with their target. Now comes a second flank of helicopters, and this is the big scary thing But this helicopter all in. He does have a recon unit here, so he can see it right away. Pragas are going to fire. The command armor is just so open exposed. The recon is heading over. He's going to try to go down that helicopter, but oh my god. Sotek is out of the tournament. Sotek, one of the top players in the game. Period. Favorite to win the entire thing. Kicked out on round five by Rape Man. This is a fast game, but holy crap. This is really going to put chills in the face, in the ears, in the skin of all the top contenders. And I guarantee you they're all going to be practicing for helicopter rushes. Because that was scary. My name has been Troublemaker, and holy crap, upset of the century, Rape Man bonks Sotek out of the tournament. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.